Hey, algebra, no geometry. We're in lesson nine, speedy delivery. So we're gonna use perpendicular bisectors to actually do some real world modeling. Um, first of all, to, um, to warm up. Notice and wonder, dots in a square. So what do we notice and wonder about these dots in a square? I, I, sometimes I love these notice and wonders and sometimes I'm like, what are they trying to get at? Um, there's nine dots. We've split up the square into each partition has three dots in it. Um, it's definitely not even. What else? Yeah. I mean, we can go really crazy and say, what do the dots represent? Why aren't the small rectangles the same size? Etc. Not important. Okay. We now have a square city with three locations of the same store. So this is a city, it's a perfect square, and I have three locations of um, the quick trip. Okay, really like summertime sodas, so I've got three locations of the quick trip, and I'm wondering which one's closer. Um, the company wants to break the city down into regions so that whenever somebody orders from an address, their order is sent to the store closest to their home. They have hired you to decide how to partition the city between three stores. Explain or show your reasoning. So I need to partition this into three equal pieces. And we're actually going to use bisectors to do it. Um, it's pretty neat how this would work. But let's see. I'm going to move my head and make some segments. Sort of wish they had segments. Ah, oh, there we go. They have them nice and all right. So I'm going to connect these. I actually want to split this up into equal pieces. So I'm going to make a triangle. And then I'm going to do perpendicular bisectors. Okay, that's pretty cool. So this bisector cuts GF into a perfect, um, into equal pieces. This bisector EG, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and they all meet in the middle, which also is pretty cool. Now that I know the intersection point is at a point, I can actually make that intersection. Isn't that cool? Um, I'm actually going to intersect a few other things so that I can use them. I'm going to intersect the perpendicular bisector with the side that it is closest to. Yep. So this perpendicular bisector, I'm intersecting that side. That one. Okay. And then this one is up here. So I've actually made H the middle of this triangle EFG. All right, that's something that we're learning today is H is now the middle of that triangle because I did perpendicular bisectors of each side. So H is the middle. And I can actually, nope, I want a polygon. That area. Um, pretty sure, oh, I always do it backwards. So the next one, I'm going to do a different color. I think this one. Let's make that one that color. Keep going. But I want that to be, that's not different enough, is it? Oh, that looks pretty different. So what we've done there is made um, H the center. Let me make sure I get all the points I need to make sure that you learn, which I didn't. Yeah, we found all the points. Okay, so first of all, we want to break the city down into regions so that whenever someone orders from an address, their order is sent to the store closest to them. They've hired you to decide. So there we go. Okay, so if they live if they live in this region and they order, they're going to go to E. But if they cross over into this region, they're going to go to F. 
if they cross over here, they're going to go to G. Okay, that's where the order is going to go. Because H is the perfect center of those three cities, it splits it up perfectly. Okay, now there are 100 employees. How should they be distributed among the three locations? Um, here, if we knew area, it would be great, but we actually don't have a good area. Um, so looking at it, we can see this is about 28%. I only know that because I'm looking at the answer key. So about 28 workers um, here. It's about 40%. So they're going to get about 40 workers. And what's left over is... 32%, so approximately 32 workers, because 100 is actually 28 plus 40 plus 32. And it's going to disappear. So annoying. <laughs> What's the next question? Is there anywhere in the city that has the same distance to all three stores? Um, yes, I already talked about that. H is the intersection of all the perpendicular bisectors, so it is the same distance to all three stores. If I measured from here to here, there to there, and there to there, all those line segments are the same measurement. Okay? Apparently, I have to hit done first. All right, now a fourth store opens, partition the city again. All right, so here we really are doing the same thing. Um, I would actually ask you to open yours up and and practice. Okay. I wonder if I don't think I can delete this. Nope. So that's what you're going to do. Um, sorry, segment, perpendicular bisector, and then I can actually do the intersection, right? Um, and we can keep going. So it's the same setup. I don't think we need to go through that exercise again, okay? It's not a triangle, so the same, the equidistance, well, let me show you that. Oops. Because I'm not making a triangle, my perpendicular bisectors are not going to intersect. Nope. Okay, so that's a little just hard. I, that was a bummer to me. Like, it's a great exercise. Um, that's this one. Well, that's a bummer. I moved. I zoomed out. I was trying to be all efficient. Perpendicular bisector or I mean intersection. Should I get them all? That one, that one, that one. We're missing one. One. Nope, we're not. All right, and our polynomials would just be sort of a funky shape. Yeah. I think it would actually go to about there. Okay, and I can keep on building polynomials to split that into equal pieces. Okay, that's fine. Now who is closest? Use dynamic geometry software to create a Voroni diagram from a map. Who might be interested in this information? Write a letter to the person or organization explaining what the diagram tells them about the map you have chosen.